Right, this is a short video about jobs that come down the chute. I'm going to start with uh, three different jobs. T9741, I'll open this one up. So it's in 9... Seven four one. So I'll open that up. So we need thirty five of these in total. So if I do twenty on a sheet and two sheets will make forty. So we've got five for test pens. The the other job is T one o three one five. I'll open that one up. Three one five. So we need forty of these in total. Um, I'll work out how many I can get on the sheet. And sorry, the last job is six double three two. Open. Right, six double three two. Oh, it's this job we need actually 40 of. That one's 35 as well. So I'll nest these and see the best way to do it. Nest in, create, sectional. I'll leave it at the default settings. So we need 20 of these. So do 10, 2. These come down the chute on our C machine because it's got the hydraulic chute. This one we need 40 of. I'll see how many we can get in here. Right, we've got 24 of them, so that make two sheets and make 48. On this one we've got 20, so two sheets and make 40. So we've got the quantity on them too, so we just got to try and get the rest of this one out. Um, we'll see how many we can get in here. I'll try and pad it out. I've right, got 12 there. Alright, it's 12, 18. So I'll get another 2 in here. That should be enough of that as well. So. Right, Oops. so we've got the right quantity there, so we've got 20 of C9741, which is this one, for 6332, we've got, so we need 40, 40 of these, we've got 24 on this part, so two sheets to make 48, which is enough. Got eight for test bends, and the last job we've got 20 of them as well. So that's enough. You've got five test bends each. So we clear the jobs on the outside of the sheet, and we'll optimize this. So sequence start, continue. So we've got 10 square in there, so I think we move that. So let's optimize there. We do the sequence of this, so we want them. We probably want these these tagged in bits to come out last so we want this one to probably go first that one second so we'll get the see what tools doing what I think it's a 5 by 50 on all of these jobs so we go to end and we go on these ones first Just turn the outline on there. 
Right, so we want these ones to go next. So I'll go over them. I don't think that's it's not doing that really well, so I'll start that again. I'll do this manually, so it go through them first and then go on to this job. These are both C machine jobs and then lastly it'll go on to these ones. I'll just do this manually because it's probably easier. Right. right, so if we look at that, so it should go through these, then on to these ones and then go down and finish them last, so I'll just OK that. Right. If you want to be, uh, or well, well check it properly, we can go through each tool just just to show you how it's going to run. So starting off with a 5.6, 6.9, special 7, square 5, 8 by 5 rectangle, 4.2 diameter, 10 square, 1.7 by 10.3 rectangle, 14 by 3 by 3 rectangle, the 8.5 round, 28 by 3.5 rectangle, 5 by 25 special 4, then it's onto the shear button, now it's onto the last tool, so I'll slow this down here and just show you what route it's taking when it's punching it out. It's just going to cross out and then it go on to these parts. It'll follow along there just as we've done it out manually. And that's it. So that looks fine. We go on to the NC program now. Start. So that's OK. Tool sequence is OK. OK. Continue on that. Um, I'll just put the program out, go on to this one, I'll just keep it at that number, 5113, um, right, so this is 6 gauge stainless steel, and it's T9741, T 10315 and T6332. So it's 16 gauge stainless steel, it's two sheets, 6332. So we want 40 of these, we've got 24 each sheet, so that'll be 48. And T9741 and T10315 equals 20. I've done this on a previous one, so I know it was going to nest out. So check to drawings, and it's an Edison shortage comes down shoot and the last part is tagged in which is these parts here so I'll OK that right that's done so what we normally do for a job that comes down the shoot with the hydraulic opening we go into the show current Right, so we know on the fibre 50, which is the first one, we put put a stop in there just after first X and Y. Right, so you've got your first X and Y location now. So I put a space in there, N, 16435, M00. That's just putting a manual stop in. Right. So we go down there, we know there's two jobs that are coming down the chute. If we look, I'll go right back up to here and you'll see in, into the sub programs. One sec, I'll show you where it is roughly. Right, so that's the last job that's punched out. And this is a chute job because you can see where the chute is opening. It's got the M7676 code and that opens a chute, that closes a chute, the M69. So that was one of the jobs and this is the other job. 
So you see the M676 opening the chute and that closing the chute. All right, just to show you, and the subroutine number is P58 there, and it's P59 there. So if we look down at the bottom on the fiber 50, you'll see. It's, it changes the number there, so that's instead of P um, for the subroutine number, it comes up Q58. And you, if you look on the last one, you've got Q59. So you want the end of the Q59, which is there. So we put a space in there, go N17305. Then we put the M69, which closes the chute. So as you see, you've got your first subroutine number, Q58, which goes down to your second subroutine number, it's Q59. But as you look up, as we go up to the... Uh, where the subroutine is. The only thing that's changed there is that's a P59. So what we do, we take out, what we've got to do is take this M69 out because that's going to close the chute. So what it would do is open, see the M676 would open the chute and that would close the chute. So it just slows the job down. So every time the chute opens with an M676 it puts one down a chute and then it closes it each time. So what we're doing is just deleting that, taking it out. And after it opens the chute, we ju all we do is put, just just to slow it down a bit, we put another code in, N145, M58, which raises the head. And N146. M59, which lowers the head back to its normal working height. So that's done. We go on to the other subroutine number. Again, take the M69 out. And we do the same thing again now. Put gap N105, M58. Raises his head up. All this does is just slow it down just to give the job a chance to fall fall down without getting caught up as it goes on to the next one and and it won't, it won't carry on if you don't raise the head to its normal working height the job the job won't actually carry on 6 m59 so we close that save it and then just print it um, that be sent out to the machine and this is virtually all you have to do for your C machine shoot jobs or any jo any jobs on the trumps which has the hydraulic uh, shoot. This is the end of this short video. Thank you very much.